The first time you log into Google Authenticator, you'll be presented with this screen. And after clicking on Get Started, you'll have the option to link your first account. As is standard, you can set up two-factor authentication either by scanning a QR code, which is the most common way, or by copying and pasting a unique key. You'll also notice in the bottom left-hand corner, there's an option to import existing accounts, which you would use if this is a new phone and you wanted to transfer your Google Authenticator codes from your old phone. If this applies to you, you can use the time tags in the description below to skip ahead. To link our first account, we'll scan a QR code. And for this demonstration, I'll set up two-factor authentication on my Facebook account. To do this, we need to log into Facebook and click on the arrow icon in the top right corner of the screen. Choose settings and privacy followed by settings. Over on the left hand menu, choose security and login and then next to use two factor authentication, click edit. Here you have three options and since we're using Google Authenticator, I'll click on the option to use an app. We're now presented with our QR code, which we can scan using our app. So back on our phone, click on scan QR code and hold your phone's camera over the code. Having done so, your linked account will now appear in your app. And to finish the process, click continue in Facebook and then enter the code shown in your authenticator app. And there you have it. We have set up two factor authentication on our Facebook account. If I log out and log back into Facebook, you can see that I'm now prompted to add my code from the Google Authenticator app. Of course, if you're using your phone to set up two-factor authentication on one of your accounts, then you can't scan the barcode. So instead, in these circumstances, we simply copy and paste the key manually. This time, I'll enable two-factor authentication on my Instagram account. I'll click on my profile icon in the bottom corner of the screen, followed by the menu icon in the top right of the screen. Then I'll choose settings, followed by security and two-factor authentication. After clicking on get started, we're then prompted to choose between either using WhatsApp, an authenticator app or a text message. I'll choose authenticator app and because we're manually adding the code, I'll click on set up another way. Instagram provides us with the code, which we can then copy and paste into our Google Authenticator app. Having copied the code, switch back into Google Authenticator, click on the plus icon and choose enter setup key. We now need to provide a name for our new account, which I'll call Instagram. And then we simply have to paste the code that we copied from the Instagram app. There's an additional option here to switch between time-based and counter-based. You should use time-based in all cases unless the account that you're setting up recommends using a counter. Click add and then as with Facebook to finish up, we simply enter our six digit pin from our authenticator app into Instagram. Instagram will then provide us with a list of backup codes that you would use in the event that you can't access your Google Authenticator app for whatever reason. These are very important and it's recommended that you keep them somewhere safe especially as the Google Authenticator app doesn't back up your codes. All your accounts will offer similar codes. For example, if we go back into our 2FA settings in Facebook, here is the option to create and download a similar set of recovery codes. There's not much else to the app except the settings menu, where among other things, you can enable face unlock by clicking on settings followed by privacy screen. Having enabled face unlock, you can then also set a timeout period. If we go back into the settings menu, edit allows you to reorder your access codes by clicking and dragging them. And if you click on the pen icon, you can also change the name of your codes and delete them if you wish. Just ensure you've disabled two-factor authentication on your account before deleting these codes. Finally, if you are looking to transfer your Google Authenticator codes from an old phone to a new one, then this is how you do it. One of the nice features about Google's Authenticator app is that they've made it very easy to transfer your code to a new phone. Here on the left, I have my old iPhone with my Authenticator app and two codes that I wish to transfer to my new phone. When you open the Authenticator app for the first time on your new phone, You'll land on this screen and after clicking on get started in the bottom left hand corner, you have the option to import an existing account. 
We're then presented with instructions on how to proceed and we want to click on the ellipsis icon in the top right corner of the app on our old phone and choose export accounts. Click continue and you'll be required to enter your passcode. Having done so, you then have the option to choose which accounts you wish to export. By default, all your accounts will be selected, but you can click on the tick to deselect and reselect them like so. When you're happy, click export, which will generate a QR code. Back on your new phone, click on the button to scan the QR code, and having done so, your accounts will be transferred. To finish up, you can choose to either remove your codes from your old phone or to keep them. It's recommended that you delete them from the old phone, however, I wouldn't be so hasty. I would recommend logging into a few of your accounts using the codes on your new phone so that you're completely satisfied everything is working correctly before deleting the codes from your old phone. It's also worth noting that if you use an iPhone and restore your new phone from an iCloud backup taken from the old phone, that your codes will be transferred as part of the restore process. So that's always an option too. Again, just be sure you don't erase anything on the old phone until you've tested the codes on your new phone, just in case. So that is how to set up and use the Google Authenticator app. Visit my website for all things Google and all your favorite apps. And if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.